Hey everyone, it's Juno with Detour Shirts. In this video, I'm gonna talk about this tea public hack that nobody's talking about. I know because I searched on YouTube, nobody's talking about it, and I just figured it out for myself this week. So I've been playing around with it, and I've been thinking about what people are saying about tea public. Now, I made this video here about uh, tips and tricks for tea public. If you're doing that, you know it's my, if you've been watching me, you know it's my number two print on demand site, and it does really, really well and they do have two categories on there. So it's really hard for people who are in the apprentice category. And so this hack will help you get more views on your things, whether you're on Instagram or Pinterest or any social media. I'm gonna focus on those, but uh, as you know, on, a, on an apprentice level, your things don't show up on searches. So a lot of people are like, well, how do I, how do I show my things? How do I get sales? How do I get views? I'm gonna help you with that in this video. So we're gonna to go to T Public. I'm gonna show you uh, how this hack works and how you can use this with Canva to make some compelling posts for Instagram and for Pinterest. All right, so here we are on T Public. This is my shop. You can see some of my recent uploads with Design with Detour. I'm just gonna go into the, this one, this first one, doesn't matter which one. You pick one, whichever you want. If you scroll down here, you're gonna notice there's some ways to share, but they're kind of old. So we got Facebook here. I'm not sure what this one is. Um, I don't use that one. Pinterest, you can do a Pinterest pin. Uh, Reddit. Uh, Tumblr, I guess, and of course X or Twitter. So you can use these two to share your designs and a lot of people use that. It's, it's not bad to use that. Um, I'm gonna show you some of them right now. If you hit, uh, there, it just does this right here and then you can post it. it, just does it really easy. But what this looks like in person is, I'll go to Twitter right now and you can see. What it looks like is, you can see I'm testing this out and it's just a little thing right here. So it's not that big. So when somebody's scrolling by their Twitter feed, you may, they might even miss it, right? And um, let's go back to Pinterest. Let me show you what that looks like. Now you can put it into any of your things here. So I'm gonna hit save. And it just saves, it doesn't save the t-shirt, it saves the design onto T Public. So there's some limitations there. So what I'm gonna show you can help you with putting your products on designs uh, or putting your designs on products and showing that on either Pinterest or Instagram. So here's the hack. Um, it's called the right click hack. And when you right click on something right here, you can see open image in new tab. So I'm gonna do that. And right here you have the full image on a t-shirt, which is really cool. Now you can change the colors too. So if I wanted it on this color t-shirt, let's give it a moment and click the t-shirt and I hit right click, open image in new tab. Boom, I have it on a different color t-shirt. So you can have different color t-shirts if you wanna do this as a carousel on Instagram or others, but it gets even better. So I'm gonna um, come down here and check on the sticker. Now, you may not, you don't wanna do it with these watermarks on here, but these right here, these um, mock-ups, you can do it on. So you can see there's a sticker right here. I'm gonna right click, open image, and you can see right there. I'm also gonna do it with uh, a mug. You could do it with a mug or a phone case. Let's do a phone case. Right click, save image as. So I have all these images, right? Uh, and if you want a hoodie, let's say a hoodie, you can do the hoodie in a different color too. So let's say I want this in red, give it a minute and I can do this open in new tab. So you can see now with this right click hack, um, I can make these a carousel in Instagram or on Pinterest, I can put it all together um, and it can be really good. Mom, this is just a level one. Now this is just the base. We're gonna take some of these and go use Canva and use some of the templates in Canva as well and make something even better. But before we go on, I want you to know that this only works for your shop. So if I went here and uh, I go to T Public and I go pick somebody else's design, let's say this one right here, and I do right click, you can see that option is not available on anybody else's shop. So don't worry, people aren't gonna be stealing your stuff. Uh, it's not gonna be, it's not gonna work besides uh, the designs in your shop. So go and do it, um, use some of these. You can see these ones are gonna be for me. You can't do this on mine, but you can do it on your shop and get some really cool products. So the next thing we're gonna do is let's go into Canva. I'm gonna show you how to use all of these 
and put some text on it and make it even be better and even change the background on some of these so that you have different colors so it's not just all gray, gray, gray. All right, so here I am on Canva and you should have downloaded all your things, all your designs that you wanted and I forgot to show you how to do that. So, so I'm gonna right click, open a new tab, right? It's up here in the new tab and you just click on it, hold down, click and drag it to your desktop. So it's gonna be now on your desktop. I have a bunch of them that I did on my desktop and I'm gonna bring them into Canva. So now that we're here on Canva, the first thing we're gonna do again, uh, this is gonna level up your stuff. So instead of just using this as is, we're gonna to add to it. So I'm gonna create a design and I'm gonna go Instagram post square. You can see it's 1080 by 1080. Uh, it's gonna open up here and I'm gonna just drag one of them uh, in here from the desktop and it's gonna bring it in here. You can see I've been playing with it, uh, learning how to do it. And I can grab it here and I can kind of scale it up. It's gonna pixelate it just a little bit, but it won't be too bad. So this you can use uh, on Instagram. Now, you may not just wanna use this because I think a lot of people, what they do is that's it. They, they take this and that's all they do and don't make any more adjustments. Well, there's a few adjustments that you can make on here. Uh, first uh, is text. So let's just do that. Um, I'm gonna do add heading here, and I can just say see more products, uh, maybe with this design, right? And I can make that smaller, boom. And again, this is Instagram, so I'm gonna maybe make move this down here. And then what we wanna do on Instagram is we want them to know that this is a carousel and to swipe, right? So we're just gonna put an arrow on here. Um, I can go to elements and do arrow, Boom, and maybe one of these fancy arrows, I don't know, like that. Boom, any arrow you want. Great. So the next thing you wanna do is maybe you wanna make everything the same color. Maybe you want a white background. So I can remove the background here with Canva. So I'm gonna edit photo. They have this background remover. I'm gonna click on it, boom. You can see now everything's white. It looks like it fits. I can do that. Now, if you have a brand color, like I use orange a lot, I can come in here and pick my brand colors. Uh, maybe this one, this is an orange, but this is green, but I could do, you know, the orange that I want and maybe make these white instead. So I can just come in here, boom, and make this white too, right? Boom. Oh, that's not exactly white. I think I picked a wrong one. There you go. And you can use any font. I'm just doing it really quick here. And now you can see this would actually be better on Instagram because now you can add another page and then add the other thing that you have um, right here. So I'm gonna do the same thing, scale this up, you know, edit photo, background remover, and so on. Now, because the background is um, a different color, you could, you know, make the first one orange, but maybe you want to make the other one a different color to match whatever the the shirt is in here that makes it makes it pop. So you could even do gradient, which is pretty cool, right? So have fun with this. Um, do multiple pages. I would suggest if you're gonna do a carousel on Instagram, do at least four. Do this one. You can see even see more products with this design. So I'm gonna add a different product, right? So I'm gonna drag in the mug that I had here. You can do the same thing remove the background and have mugs and so on. So this can really help um, sell your products on TeePublic to let them know that you have more than just t-shirts and look how good it looks on some of these other things. Um, again, one more, we'll do the phone case right here. Same thing, real easy, right? With Canva, you can eliminate the background, make it bigger if you want and so on. And even put text, you could say phone case or mug or whatever you want. So like really cool, right? So this has more engagement than just having one of these. What I see a lot of people do on Instagram is they just do one picture of a t-shirt and that's it and they don't even think about it. The, the carousels on Instagram get a lot more engagement. Now here's another thing that can help with engagement and that is adding multiple things on one project. So you could do, because this is knocked out, check this out. I'm gonna do this, copy, command V, command C to copy, command V to paste. Look at that. Now we can have a collage of different things. Command C here, Command V. Now this is more engaging than uh, just one picture, right? Because now people are looking at multiple things. 
multiple products. And you can go and look for the T Public logo online. So I'm going to go on here and I'm going to just go T Public logo images. This one, you can see it's uh, transparent. So I can drag the same thing, drag it down to your desktop like that. And then what I did was I uploaded it here already. So I can I can already use it. Once you upload it, you can have access to this in your Canva. So it would always be there. And so you can say, um, now on T Public or whatever. My products on, see my new products on T Public, right? Get rid of this. Something like that. So, oops. You can, you can retype this, but you can see how this is more engaging than just a picture of one t-shirt. Now you have multiple, people are gonna stop and look a little bit. Uh, you, can, you can give it a turn like this, you know, do that. There you go, this is really cool. And you could also put different ones. So you can see these are my new designs this week and put different designs on here and do the same thing. Now there's even a better idea than this and I'm gonna show you how to do that. We're gonna go back to Canva. So. Um, what you can do is look for templates. So I'm going to go here on templates and you can see um, there's all kinds of templates. Instagram stories, but you have Instagram reels, social media, YouTube, so on and so forth. Right now, I believe uh, you can click on social media. Perfect. And then Instagram post square. Now, if you see one that you like, you can pick one of these. You can also um, go by topic so you can click and see which one is the best one that maybe uh sales are the one or fashion let's try fashion so fashion doesn't necessarily have to be your t-shirt designs but you can use these as um, a base so let's do this one right here customize this template check this out so i'm gonna remove this right here i'm gonna swap in my t-shirt right here boom See how easy that was? It kind of snapped. These are all frames in Canva. So you can take the object that you have and it will just snap in there. So let me do another one here. You can see here's the hoodie. I'm gonna snap it in there. Boom, see how simple that is? Uh, let's do the other one. Let's do the phone case uh, in here, snap it in, boom. So there you go, very simple. And this is more intriguing um, than um, you know just a t-shirt. And then you can still use the T-Public um, design right here. So when you're, when there's like a sale, you can do sale now on T public. Here are my designs, right? Really cool way. And there's just hundreds of templates. Let me show you some other ones that I found. So here are some other ones. You could put your t-shirt in here. Look how easy it is. I had a, did another t-shirt right there and you could put t-shirts in here and so on. So look at this, the, the possibilities are endless. You could do one diagonal like this. It's so cool, right? So you can see how this would stand out from just a t-shirt. You have multiple things, capture, capture people's attention uh, on Instagram as they scroll through the feed. They're not just looking at a t-shirt. Now they have to stop and look like, okay, these are all the products. This is really cool, right? What's, what's this talking about? You could also do something like this when there's a new sale uh, on TeePublic. Um, I think this would be really cool. Shop now, sale now, you know, put your, um, website on here and give them a call to action to do some things. Now, along with Instagram, we just talked about Instagram templates, but there's also a uh, Pinterest template. So let me show you some of those. So you, you would find these the same way. Let me go back to home Canva, um, templates, right? Social media. Uh, and then let's see Pinterest. There's Pinterest pins right here. So Pinterest pins, and you can see there the, Thing that they like to do is a thousand by 1500 so you can see they're just a little taller they're not square but they're not super tall and there's a ton of them here you can use some of these this would be really cool right this would be really cool just really easy so let me show you how those work uh, i have these right here same way right you just drag it and these are all frames too so boom right then maybe that tall one is better for a um this one yeah definitely taller right so you can try it out with different things, right? So same thing here, nice collage. If you have multiple products that could work, you could do these too. These are also frames, which is pretty cool. Boom, in the frame, isn't <laughs> that cool? It's really easy. Boom, in the frame. So you can do their multiple colors here 
and show show people your multiple colors and turn it so you can actually turn it in the frame or double click on it and then turn it in the frame so if you want it like that boom look at that and so you can type in here check out these new colors on my t-shirts or whatever now this one again double click and make sure that it's the same angle as the frame perfect right all of these are frame templates in canva now some of these may be for premium canva or canva pro stuff uh, and that's okay you may have to just look for the free free ones but uh, really cool if you have canva pro i would suggest you use it this can make um, pins look so much better on pinterest and posts look so much better on instagram let me show you the difference right here so take a look at these two from a t-shirt versus what we did on canva just in a few seconds with frames and templates much better will get you so much more engagement so there you go hopefully this was really helpful i know i went really fast you might have to rewind and, and look back at it but the big takeaway is don't just use a t-shirt on your post now you can um, but i think there's so many better ways for you to get engagement on instagram posts and pin uh, on pinterest by using uh, either some text in canva if you can only do that or by using some templates um, with some of those frames in there by posting your um, different products and different colors of your different products on there to just get more engagement. Now use the carousel um, as well if you don't, if you want to just do a, one picture at a time. But I think some of these where you have it all in different frames can ask, also add a lot more engagement and get you a lot more views than you would have. And it would just make a more interesting profile instead of just seeing t-shirt, 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 t-shirt. You got to mix it up. Uh, and, and you can put some branding in there too. So hopefully this is really helpful. I'm hoping that this will get you a lot more views, which will translate to a lot more sales on T Public, so that you can rank up and get into that artisan category if you don't already, if you're not already on the artisan category. Thanks again for watching. I'm gonna put this video right here. If you haven't seen this one about T Public and my tips and tricks for T Public in 2024, I think this will help you get some sales on there as well. Again, thanks for watching. And as always, guys, keep creating and keep learning. I'll see you on the next one.